Hi, I'm Rich Bonaducci. And I'm Holly Love. And you're watching Talk 365. On KDAZ TV. Welcome to our show. We have a really great show for you today. You're wiggling all around. Are you excited? My chair is making sounds. It does make sounds. I don't know why. Can you hear it? We can hear it. Okay. Well, I don't know if they can hear it, but we can hear it. We've got an amazing show for you. Listen. Yes, we do. We're going to listen to Rich's chair. We have got financial news you can use. We have really awesome segment with Dennis... Parker we did. from <laughs> the hypnotherapy training school. But before we get to any of that, you set up a GoFundMe account. And we really need to thank some folks. You know, we, we are, we're mm -hmm. a small company here. We and are. we need some equipment. Yes. We are relying on some friends to help us put this together. And they're great friends. But at the same time, we need some of our own equipment. So we started a GoFundMe for a camera. Uh -huh. And in very short order, we had a ton of people donate. We still need <coughs> some more, by the way. I have not even posted this to my Facebook because I've been crazy busy and I have a really hard time keeping up with everything. If you want to be my assistant, call me because I need help with social media. I, I'm horrible at it. Moral being, thank you so much. And we've had tons of help coming up to this point. Yeah. We've had so many people who have helped us. We have KPDR and Trip Mitchell, Aaliyah Rasmussen, Chris Gillum, Bill Francis, Farrell. We've had just tons of people who have helped us get the to this point. Imagination Company in general. Yes, yep. we are super grateful to everyone who's helped us and to anyone who has continued to donate because we want to keep bringing you awesome stories and especially local stories and stories that other people can't get out there and give you because it would cost them too much money. Those are the things we like to cover. Local love, Small talk, small business, all that cool stuff. And I want to thank my big sister, Suzanne, for donating. Me she was the too. first person who donated. And she your has dad. red hair, too, by the way. Oh, I love you, Suzanne. Yes. See, and my fellow. And my dad. Banco yep. dad came through again. That's so sweet. I love <laughs> and, it. Uh, and of course, Beverly, who I, I went to high school with. Uh huh. We just chat now again on Facebook, donated. That was so nice. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to stick it on my Facebook. Check it out. Donate if you want. Absolutely. Charlotte, I used to be in a band with Char back in Southern Utah. What did Charlotte Justice. do? She donated too. Did she play tambourine, sing? What'd she do? She plays guitar. She plays saxophone. She sings. Oh, she's a stud. No, she knows what she's doing. Yeah. And Pat, of course, but my buddy from high school also donated. Lots of friends here. And I'm just so amazed. Nice. I'm sitting there going, wow. Like People love you. No, friends want to help me. It's so weird. You cried a little, huh? Well, get a little misty. I did get a little misty. I woke I know. up. The, you know what? I was rendering the show, mm -hmm. and there's a little bit of time involved there, especially when you shoot 4K, Chris. Anyway, and um, and we look really, really clear. They, it's terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. Hence the hat. I don't know. Wrinkles that and, I didn't uh, know were there. They and, are. They don't exist in a humidity state. Continue. And uh, so, in a humidity state? In L.A., I don't have these kind of wrinkles because it's like <laughs> Are you more trying to plump. say Utah has humidity? It's, no, I'm saying it's dry here. It and makes wrinkles. Oh. Oh, okay. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? In and fact, 4K shows them. Well, yeah, it shows everything. It's terrifying. But when I, I used to live in Pennsylvania, really high humidity there. Mm -hmm. And I moved out to Utah, southern Utah. And I felt like it was like I was cracking. Yeah. My entire body Like your nose cracking. bleeds. I have to put Vaseline in my nose. Anyway, continue on with the thank yous. Wow. Do you know what I was thinking? We need to like put together cause a little box, like a thank you box. Because you know how we do the, the loot crate thing? Like a talk 365 thank you box for anyone who donates. And if you want to donate so that we can put that box together, I'll start that GoFundMe. Yeah, yeah. You're <laughs> no longer in charge of the GoFundMes. You know what I told them I would do? What? Thank them oh, on the air because it's I want to do more. I would love to do more. Can't do it. But what we will do is okay. if you donate and help us get this equipment, we will do exactly as you said. Yes. We will make sure that we give voice to the people who can't necessarily afford it. 
on the big dogs because yeah. the big dogs can't afford to leave the studio because it's too expensive for them. But we but can. We can do it. We have some sponsors we'll that help us out and help us do it. University of uh, Credit Utah Union. Credit Union yep. does that too. So that's great stuff. But also, okay. there's one more person I need to thank, and I'm a little scared. Okay. But I better thank Iva. Okay. Iva Big Guns. Big Biggins? Guns. Biggins? Is, Iva is Big that Guns. A, is that a real name? If it is, it's someone has some parent. Maybe we should list people on our closing credits because if they have creative names, that could be fun. Oh, we're absolutely going to do that. That would be really a good time. I'm putting it on the screen right now. Oh, thanks. To cover all the stuff that we're messing up on? Because we're doing good. Yeah. Well. One day I will learn English, Rich Bonaduce. <laughs> You'll see. I was a ballet major. We didn't talk in ballet. I know, I know how to spell plie. I don't even know what it is. Well, it means to bend in French, P-L-I-E with a p on the end. Don't go anywhere. Rich is going to have news you can use, and we'll try to get it together before this thing is over. It'll be fun no matter what, I promise. Talk 365 studio space provided by Media Riff. You're right. I'm not going to get promoted without that degree. It's time to do it, Diana. Yeah, but an online university feels so impersonal. What if I need help? Take a look at WGU. A faculty mentor works with you from day one to graduation. A mentor, huh? And that sounds great. Would you like to try some mouse? Uh, are they gluten free? Innovative, online, and surprisingly affordable. WGU, it's a new kind of you. Today's financial news you can use brought to you by University Credit Union. Welcome back to Talk 365. What are we going to talk about? Well, we have a very special financial news you can use brought to us by University Credit Union and you. And me. What are you going to tell me today, financially speaking? This is important stuff. Not a lot of people do this, but okay. here's the deal. There are many... I know. Just get over it. I shouldn't have this chair. Because you can't hold still. Hold still. Go. Okay. No, I'm just so excited about the news. <laughs> a lot of people, when they get their paychecks, they get it by, like, say, uh, direct deposit. Mm -hmm. So the money just goes into their bank account. They never actually see that check, and they mm -hmm. never see the dollars, and it goes in. And then everything is electronically transferred out. All your bills. All the bills. Automatic pay. At least pay. that's one of the ways that you should do it. But you don't really interact with your money very much. You don't really monitor it that, as well as you used to. I would say that's to. pretty true. Yeah, when you used to have to take your check yep. and go and deposit it and all that stuff. Yep. And then write the check yourself, you know, for all the bills. Balance your checkbook. Not a lot of people watch the balance in it very much mm -mm. anymore. You know, they don't pay attention. But here's something that you should do. Okay. A lot of religious folks, for instance, will pay mm -hmm. their tithing first. 10%. 10%. What tithing is, they pay the yes. church first. Fine and dandy. They also put aside maybe some money for charity or something like that, or they pay their mortgage first, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. But here's something a lot of the financial folks say that you should do, is to pay yourself first. Okay, what does that mean? Now, you want to put God first, go right ahead, but then pay yourself. Okay. And what that means is you need to put a tithe aside for yourself as well. Okay. Now, if you get paid twice a month, take 5%. Okay. And put it into a completely separate account at, say, somewhere like... University Credit Union. University Credit Union. Mm -hmm. and in a savings account. In a savings account. That's separate from your checking account that you don't have access to. Exactly. They're not connected. Maybe from a, maybe at a completely different bank. Okay. See, if you're not with U of U, then you can do this. Yeah. And take advantage of all their benefits, et cetera. But do what that. you do, most places that do direct deposit will mm -hmm. allow you to do multiple direct deposits. Okay. You can tell them, take 5% and put it in this bank and 15% and put it there. Ooh. Take this percent and put it into a college fund or whatever it is. I like that. Tell them to uh -huh. take 5% or a dollar figure, depending on how they do it, uh -huh. and to put it in an account mm -hmm. that is at a completely different bank and just let it sit there. In a month, you'll have 10% of your dollars set aside that, again, you kind of didn't pay too much attention to. 5% mm -hmm. is not a... It's a, not a huge bite. It's probably like a couple nights out that you didn't do. It's like buying tickets to see the boss and you shouldn't have. Exactly. Right. Which if you watch Friday's show, wah, 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 wah. shouldn't but, have gone. So, so anyway, what yes. happens is over the course of time, you're probably not missing that 5%, hopefully. Yeah, it, it doesn't hurt. As, eh, not too much. Mm -hmm. It comes out as 10% for the month, mm -hmm. and it's way over there every month, and it's just sitting there. It's yet another account you kind of don't interact with. Okay. Because it's just happening automatically. Okay. But that money's building up there. Of course, the savings is building up there. And um, this is an account, again, that is not connected to any bills. So that you can't pull from it. Don't pull from it. 
don't have electronic funds transfer to it or from it, anything like that, and don't use it as what they call an electronic backup mm -hmm. to your checking. Oh, for when you go overdraft. If you go overdraft a little bit, some of mm -hmm. them have uh, overdraft protection. Sometimes, University Credit Union, my account <laughs> has true. that. Thank you. That's true. Sometimes, Sometimes it happens. Sometimes you can put a card on it. Sometimes mm -hmm. you can have two or three backups just in case. Yep. Don't connect this thing to anything. All it is is money goes in. And, and you, you leave it even, alone. You can't even really take it out unless you go to the bank. Wow. And say, take this thing out of there. Okay. It and then really what do you get to do with it? It's for the rainy day fund. It's it for is if a rainy you, day fund. You know, have your like furnace go out. Which happened to my mom this year it in is the that middle kind of, thing. of winter, right before Christmas, because it's always the worst timing. Always. Uh, or say a clutch goes when you loan I your car to a friend, it too. <laughs> and you need fifteen hundred bucks to fix, it, fix a clutch. Please call me. By the call way, me. if you're a mechanic who would like some advertising on that's going to be my GoFundMe account. Go fund Holly Ooh. to make Rich stop talking about the darn clutch, please. Tell you what. If, yes. you, if you start that and you get funds, mm -hmm. then it goes to fix the clutch. And I have nothing to talk about. Thank you. I'm going to do that. Why don't we do that? How about we just have it, like, call me. I'll put an email up and do that. I'm going to fix that right live on the thing. Wow. What happened? It just flipped in. I hate it when that happens. Okay. Can you still what? hear me? Can you hear me now? Can Good. You hear me now? Can you hear me now? Good. Good. Okay. So we're back. Back to, um, yes, please email me if you are a person who can fix transmissions or rusted, 20-year-old rusted cables that just happened to go out on day three of me driving this darn car. Thank you, by the way. That was really nice of you to let me borrow your car. No problem. <laughs> but anyway, so you luck. put this stuff aside, and it is this rainy day fund, etc. Mm -hmm. But it's also just a great way of saving, mm -hmm. and you can still have all of your electronic funds transferred to, you know, for your bills and all that stuff. Nothing mm -hmm. comes out of that. That is a really good. It's also a great example for like your kids, because far too many people don't really teach their kids about savings and loans yep. and things like that. Living paycheck to paycheck is not wise. It's not something you want to do. Nope. No, and certainly don't want to pass it down. Nope. But there are also funds, mm -hmm. not just a savings account, which sometimes are really low on interest rates, mm -hmm. where you can put it in there and it's a money market fund. So you have, like, you're building your money faster. You're building money faster, the, the interest rates are higher, mm -hmm. and uh, you have extra benefits and things. And they mm -hmm. have kind of, I, I'll call it a benefit, but it isn't really. Mm -hmm. You can't take it out. It has to sit there for a or certain you get penalized. Of time or you get yeah, penalized. that's a good thing if you're a person who is tempted. It's because then you're forced to, and then you could, like, reward yourself with a trip to Paris. Or a new clutch for Rich, which is obviously where mine's going. But after you save for it, you don't exactly. put it on a credit card. But yes. there is a credit option with this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You can also put that money into account, mm -hmm. and that account backs up a, uh, a credit card of sorts. Oh, okay. But so you're building your credit. So, well, the credit card is only, the limit is only as high as what is in the account. Mm. So you can't charge crazy amounts on this. You can mm -hmm. only charge what you've saved. Again, really good for and, kids. Yeah. And you're building your credit at the same time. That's awesome. But it's a secure credit card, as they call it, because it's backed up with cash. Mm -hmm. Because in the end, if you got to pay it, it's going to just say decline. It's right there. If you're out. No, no, no. I'm saying that if yeah. you end up having to pay that bill, it's backed up yeah. with, say, you got 300 bucks. Or if you want to do something and you don't have the money, you don't have the money. Yeah, you either don't have the money or, you do. or the money is there to pay it because it is backed up with mm -hmm. a deposit that you put in there. I love it. Yeah, it's all the stuff that you can do. But the best part about it is it's automatic. Once you tell your employer to do this, take it out. And then it's like you don't really even know it happened. And you're going to be it. so happy at the end of the day because if you have no clutches go out, no furnaces go out, then you can like go to Disneyland at the end of the year and reward yourself. I or wherever you, you want to go. Yeah, wherever you want to go. Yeah, or, somewhere fun. like if you have a friend that has a GoFundMe for a camera, you could donate. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. So that's pretty much what I've got today. A little bit of forced funding, forced savings, but it's, I like it. it's, it's a really good idea. It is a really good idea. Nice things with it. Thank you. I love it. And you know what? We are going to have more of these financial news you can use every week. And we are going to answer your questions. Well, not we, the experts at University Credit Union will be answering your questions. So please do email us your questions, your financial questions. We will have the experts at University Credit Union answering you directly, giving you advice as well as tips on a weekly basis coming within the next couple weeks. And in the meantime, thank you, Mr. Bonaduce. That was fantastic. You're welcome. All right, don't go anywhere. We will be right back right after this. Today's financial news you can use brought to you by University Credit Union.
If you've been looking for alternative health care, imagine coming into a facility where you can meet with someone who specializes in your condition and then takes your exam findings and meets with a team of specialists to come up with a combined approach that will put you back on the path to health. At Integrated Wellness, they have everything from a medical doctor to an allergy specialist on staff. All combined, they can treat conditions ranging from rheumatoid arthritis to allergies, even chronic fatigue. Call Integrated Wellness for your consultation so you can be on the path to wellness today. Small Talk is brought to you by University Credit Union. Welcome back to Talk 365, now on a more uh, serious but important note. Yeah. Who are we chatting with? Well, I had the opportunity to chat with Mr. Dennis Parker from the Certified Hypnotherapy Training School and John Harmer, who is, he is over the Light a Candle Society. It is a nonprofit organization that fights against pornography. Mm -hmm. This guy is incredible. It was such a fun opportunity to meet him. He has had this incredible career. He's worked with Reagan. He's worked with Bush. He has got to be in his 80s. I don't and you buy don't it. believe me because you edited, edited this. this this package, and I do not believe this guy's as old as you say. He's it. like my personal hero. I have to tell you Very because active guy. the first time I met him, he rolled into a meeting at six a.m. I'm barely alive. He had pulled an all nighter, basically, um, working with his uh, legal firm back in Boston and working on a huge case, and rolled into this meeting and was sharp as a tag and had everything in order. And he's a really incredible guy, and he's actually endorsing my friend Dennis Parker with the certified hypno therapy training school. It's a really great thing. Check it out. We claim to have discovered and understand how the imagination works. The more you turn the thought or the image, the video, whatever up in the imagination, mm -hmm. it's also simultaneously turning up the addiction. Well, it's, it's simultaneously turning up the emotions. Oh, okay. And as the emotions are translated through the brain, the brain releases all of those chemicals and so on that people want to talk about that stimulate bodily functions. Mm -hmm. So what we've learned is, is that when we teach people how to manage their mind, we call it mind management because we're teaching them to manage mostly their imagination, which also includes, we teach them memories and, and so on. But when we teach them how to manage their imagination, it shuts down the emotional content through the brain and then the body automatically adjusts. Which is why you have a hard time with the word addiction because you think that it's not really an addiction if you can, if you can help people learn how to do this. When they come in and they learn how to do this process, mm -hmm. then it's not an addiction, it's just a, a matter of a poor choice, mm -hmm. right? And, I don't like to use the word addiction because well, the guys that come in here, and again, uh, I said that last time, but the guys who come in here and want to use the term addiction as though it's something that's beyond their control, they can't handle it, or it's a disease, or one of those kinds of things, those are usually being used as an excuse for failure in advance to continue doing it. Yeah. And so, as I said, well, get over this. yeah, we don't let them you, get away with that here. <laughs> and you do, you do much more than this. And I think that's really empowering. I think taking away the addiction label is empowering because I bet there's a lot of people who have suffered with this addiction thinking there's no hope. And you're saying, guess what? There is not only hope for this, but you also offer hope for a lot of other things because this is helping families. You offer counseling and therapy. You help the families around it. Well, the same process of turning the imagination down and turning the emotion down applies to any emotion. Mm -hmm. So if a person has anger management issues or if they have... Uh, Depression. Yeah, whatever. Anxiety. Yeah, really any, any kind of major emotion can be uh, at least detached and desensitized through these processes. Mm -hmm. And then through the rest of the work that we do, we teach them how to resolve it, or in therapy, we like to say bring about closure. Mm -hmm. So it just isn't there anymore. Wow, that's amazing. So now, if there are people out there who want to become a certified hypnotherapist, you have a school here. We do. Um, how does that work? Uh, they can simply go to certifiedhypnotherapytrainingschool.com. Okay. All the information is there. Uh, have them uh, look it up, uh, check it out, call me with all of their questions. We'll be happy to answer them. Classes all the are going all the time, right? Uh, pretty much. Uh, we, we generally run the school three times a year, but they can come in any time and get started because a portion of the school is online work. And so they can get started any time, get their online work done, and then attend the classes as we're here in, in live setting. Okay, and then you also talked to me a little bit about people who want to take this class because they just want to learn the skills. They want to learn about all of this stuff you're teaching. 
Right. We have uh, parents and grandparents and people who want to learn these behavioral modification skills to basically work with their friends and families. Mm -hmm. And so they'll come in and, and they'll take the same clinical trainings, the same courses, uh, but they don't have any desire to go out and set up a... They don't want to do business. Yeah, they don't want to have a clinical hypnotherapy practice. They just want to know these skills. And, and we get uh, managers and executives from companies who want to know behavioral management to manage their groups. Inspired, church leaders, get over fears and ex phobias and ex exactly. So we're getting more of those people in who want to know how to do this, but they don't want to set up a therapy practice. Mm -hmm. So we offer the same trainings. They can sit in the same clinical trainings at a much reduced rate. Because you can help people who have fear with sales, who aren't doing very well. You can help them right. learn how to overcome that. Public um, speaking, fear of picking up that 50-pound telephone and make mm -hmm. that next prospecting call. Yeah. All that stuff. So there's a lot of people who maybe have a whole other business that this would be such a great thing to add to what they do. That's well, right. S helping families, obviously there's so many ways trickling down. Everything you just said, obviously if you can manage your mind and you can manage your behaviors, how you interact with those around you and how you're working as a member of a family, as a member of society. I mean, it's a, it's a huge thing what you're teaching people. So that's Well, it's incredible. really, yeah, it's really all encompassing because we are talking about their mind, their spiritual mind that controls the brain and then the brain controls the body. So it does, it gets the sequence correct to where people can learn to do amazing things. If someone wants to come and see you, how do they get a hold of you? They can call. Uh, my phone is 801-628-0693. Mm -hmm. The office phone is the same number, just 07. They can also uh, go online and, and uh, send us an email if they want. Okay, and that's and, to see you privately, totally separate from the school. Yes, when I'm not have... Yes, when I'm not teaching school, I do private sessions. Awesome. And that's, so we're happy fantastic. to... fantastic. Well. well, Dennis, thank you so much for talking to me. And John, before we let you go, um, for those who are interested in joining your cause and helping the fight against pornography, how can they get a hold of you and offer some support? I was afraid you'd never ask. Were you afraid? Oh, I wouldn't forget about you. I know we're separated here, but... It's uh, www.thelightedcandlesociety.net. Okay. Everything on that site will tell them what we're up to. Okay, and you guys are always up to something good. We hope so. Get on there. All right, you guys. Well, thank you for talking thank you. with me. I'd like to continue this conversation. I'd like to visit this again. Maybe we could talk to some people who have gone through it. We could do, get some testimonials. But for today, I think we've had some fabulous information out there for you. So if you or a family member or a friend or anyone you know is struggling with any kind of addiction problems, either to pornography or even just fear and anxiety and depression, your family is struggling, be sure and give Dennis a call if you're interested in joining the cause of the Light of Candle Society. Look him up. You guys, thank you for being here. Thank you. Okay, so we just witnessed John yes. Harmer endorsing Dennis Parker. And hypnotherapy yeah. as like a legitimate form of therapy and basically a cure if you're struggling with addiction. The cool thing I love about what Dennis does is the speed in which people see results for whatever their problems are. I mean, obviously pornography is a big problem. It's smoking? A, it's affecting a lot of families and stuff like that. But little things, he does yeah. smoking and not that anxiety is a little thing. Anxiety is a huge thing that if you have it, it's horrible. It's the worst. He can teach you how to like manage your mind and be able to get anxiety out of your life. He helps sports athletes be able to, like they call them yips. The like if you and... have that, yeah. Okay. He helps sales people who are like, he calls it the 50 pound phone, Gotta like that, that fear of picking yep. it up. So he has all kinds of people come in and he does classes all the time. And there's actually one starting April 20th. And if you mention that you saw the segment on Talk 365, he's going to give you a really major discount. Like $200 off of books and free books and all kinds of cool stuff. If you check out his website, be sure you mention you saw it here and you'll get a deal. And you don't necessarily need to make it your career. You can actually just go to learn these techniques. I would love to do it. I would really like to take the class. I've read his books and I've like um, watched some of his stuff online. I think it's incredible stuff. It changes lives. Then you can take a little bit of that discount that we got for you and put it in our GoFundMe. You just really want a camera at the end of the day. Just saying. <sighs> Wow. It's, it's an exchange. 
It's a pay it forward. Just right back to that. All right. Well, all right. Thank you, Dennis Parker, and thank you, John Harmer. That was a really great segment. Rich, what do you think? You're going to get, get some hypno done? Get over all of your issues, your yips? Yep. Good. All right. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back right after this. Small Talk is brought to you by University Credit Union. Hey everybody, it's Holly Love and I am here with my old friend Todd Summers. Todd, you are now the marketing manager of University Credit Union and guess what? I just became a member today. Tell them why they should become members. You should become a member, especially if you love University of Utah. See our red color, Holly's red hair, the lips, it's, it's just, it works. Lots of benefits from a credit union. No fees, low interest rates on loans, car loans, friendly local service. Speaking of car loans, I've been needing a new car and you guys were fantastic. You recommended that I come here first before I go to the dealer, get pre-approved. I figured out what's going on with my credit, what I need to do to fix it, uh, how much my loan will be, how much I would pay per month in order to get the car I want to be in. You guys were so helpful. I am like prepared, armed, ready for battle to go find the perfect car. There is really just no excuse to not get in here to University Credit Union and join. Become a member today. Like me and Todd. Lashes for the Talk 365 team. Yes, that's you, Rich. Just kidding, it's Holly. Provided by Sweet Lash. I don't know. Going back to school just seems impossible. Allison, what's the real issue here? It's too much money and there's not enough time. That's why WGU reinvented higher education. You can move through courses faster and graduate for half the cost. Really? Honey, just listen to the bird. You okay? Innovative, online, and surprisingly affordable. WGU, it's a new kind of view. Set design for Talk 365 is provided in part by Consign and Design. All right, welcome back everybody. Um, we have been arguing over the word yips, and it, it means struggling with mental traps around sports, especially golf. Golf is a really, people have the yips. It has nothing to do with drugs. Stop with your urban dictionary. All right, so 10, Dollar bag of Coke. It's not true. Okay. I mean, maybe it is. I don't know. I'm not on the streets. But I do know, I really don't know that much about golf. My dad was a golf pro, and I still, I'm horrible at golf. Are you a good golfer? Uh, no, my brothers and my dad are. Are they? And my nephews, who actually went to college for golfing. My nephew sucked all of the gene golf good genes out of our gene pool, because I'm horrible at it, and he's amazing. Maybe you just have a yip. I, I have some yips. I need to see Dennis it's the about the yips. It's of your existence. It's true. I need some mental toughness help, which it's, is probably it's true. It's the bane of your golfing existence. It, do you, I actually hate golf, and I, I hate to admit that with you my family. You have no idea what I'm doing here. I don't know. What are you doing? Are you doing? Is it that one guy from that one movie that he has the face mask thing? It's, that, it's like a, yeah, that guy. Yeah. And he's scary, and he's in Lawless. I love that guy. Yes, Tom Hardy. Yeah, he's He cool. likes to play people we mm -hmm. can't understand. I like him a lot. Well, he's, good at, he's good at creating his own little language. That, like, that Bane guy, is that his name? Bane. Yeah, he was really scary, too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, so that's our show, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. And you're going to want to come back tomorrow because we're going to have more fun, more news you can use, more Rich Bonaducci talking about all kinds of crazy stuff, and, yep. and hopefully no yips. Yep. We're going to get rid of our yips. Have a great day.